Hello everyone, this is Graham with Terabit Web Security News, bringing you yet another cybersecurity news story. Microsoft Patch Tuesday is here. We bring you the Microsoft Windows Update, the February 2021 edition. Microsoft announced in their Microsoft Security Response Center blog that three CVEs represent vulnerabilities in the TCP IP stack and two of these critical remote control execution vulnerabilities in CVE 2021-24074 and CVE 2021-24094. There is also a denial of service vulnerability in CVE 2021-24086. The .NET vulnerabilities are considered critical. CVE 2021-26701 is a remote code execution vulnerability, and CVE 2021-1721 is considered a denial of service vulnerability. The DNS server element of this patch covered in CVE 2021-24078 covers a vulnerability when the DNS server looks up a domain it has never seen before. Using a specially crafted phishing email, the attacker could put a link or a graphic in this email that makes the DNS server look for this unknown domain. The DNS server looks for this domain, and if the attacker responds before the root domain does, the attacker may be able to redirect the flow of network traffic to a different destination. This affects Windows servers 2008 to the current version 20H2. This vulnerability has a severity rating of 9.8. Microsoft released 56 patches this month. 11 are critical, one was found in the wild. The following Microsoft products are affected. .NET, Microsoft Dynamics, Exchange Server, Excel, SharePoint, DNS Server, Hyper-V, Windows Fax Service, Windows Defender, DirectX, RPC, TCP IP, and Print Spooler. But there are many, many more. For a complete list, see the notes below. As usual, Microsoft rolled most of these patches into one or two monthly roll-ups and should be simple to patch. However, the .NET patches are deployed and listed separately. Please patch as soon as you can. With these bugs exposed, attackers have an advantage if you wait to do the updates. If you need further information, see the notes below. You have been watching the Terabit Web Security News with Graham as your host. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked this video, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel for further updates.